So you just found yourself the owner of a new to you CNC machine. The first thing that you're probably going to find out is that that machine is disgusting. It's just the nature of the beast is that you got coolant splashing everywhere, you got weight loop coming off the thing. Probably nobody's ever taken it apart and cleaned this in like 10 years. The first thing that you probably want to do when you put the machine in or when you receive it is you want to clean it. Now this seems like an easy task, but it can actually be pretty difficult. I'm going to be explaining a little bit, some tips and tricks on how to make it easier for you to clean your machine. The first thing that I'd recommend that you do is you remove any and all covers that you possibly can. Anything small enough to take off. You know, like here we have the weigh covers. These protect the weighs. There's another one right there. The coolant tank can come out. Chip conveyor if you have one. Pretty much everything that's small enough that you could put it into a truck and pressure wash it. Heck, you could even pressure wash the whole machine. I did it with that machine over there. I had it all out and I pressure washed it all. This one weighing about 40,000 pounds is uh, way too big to pressure wash. So what we're doing is we're going to remove as many pieces as we can to clean. And then the rest of it then you're stuck cleaning in place. What worked out well for me is that I've got a hose attached to the coolant pump for flood coolant. And I was able to use this to almost just wash the machine down and get the bulk of the guck off of it. You can use solvents and soaps. You just want to be cautious that you don't contaminate the coolant system with them. I have some of this MTC53 machine cleaner. I mixed some of this stuff up and I introduced it into the coolant system. And then once I got it all pumped through, I turned it off and I let it sit. So now it's only got MT63 and water inside the coolant system. I purchased this cheap Harbor Freight wet dry vac. I highly recommend that you buy one. You know, and you don't want to use your good vacuum cleaner. You're going to wreck the thing. I can always just warranty this. I'm going to use it here to go suck up all the way lube. Alright guys, so we have been vacuuming and scrubbing and blowing and trying to get as much as this gunk and chips out of this thing as we can. We're getting to the point where it's about time to talk about we have these wipers right here. They basically slide on the the boxway surface and they wipe off chips and green and stuff like that so then when it doesn't get into the into the system and wreck the ways so we got to take these off right here it's not so hard on the z-axis that one has a lot of more space but over here though this looks very very tight inside there so i might have to take this guy off just to even get at these so but we're gonna take them off we're gonna try cleaning them we're gonna see how if they're damaged if they're damaged i have some replacement material i can make new ones out of so but very important though keep up with your ways otherwise your machine will wreck itself all right guys so this kind of delayed everything a little bit but we had an issue though where it was stuck the machine wouldn't power on it was stuck in emg it was really strange i just came back out here after three days of messing with it and uh, it worked just fine so I don't know not quite sure but yeah there's quite a bit of wires here and stuff so there's a lot to this machine